Okay, I'm going to go ahead and uh, do some of these questions. Um, yeah, there's a lot already. So I'm going to try and answer them as best as possible. Dark Light 6667 um, says, um, heh, I guess, what's your favorite song? My favorite song. God. Do you mean is in like, of all time or as in right now. Right now my favorite song is called Snuff by Slipknot. I know it's been out for a while I believe but I just heard it on the radio the other day and it reminds me so much of my story and just the I was telling my boyfriend about this earlier actually and the emotion that he puts into that song while he's singing it it's just I, I love it. I just I absolutely love that song. So that's my favorite one as of right now. Also, I'm kind of obsessed with Lady Gaga right now because she's so weird. And I love her creative spirit. Um, favorite song of all time? Um, it would probably be... It's called Once in a Lifetime by Sarah Brightman. Um, I've done some old music videos to it, but I don't think I ever put them up on YouTube. But I absolutely love that song. I got into that song because there was a very old music video of it to um, one of my favorite animes uh, called El Hazard. And it's a very simple music video. It was one of the very first ones I'd ever seen. But I loved it and it made me love the anime and it made me love the song. So, I mean, it did exactly what AMVs are supposed to do. INF INFP Gamer. <laughs> Wants to know, what's your favorite food and drink? Um, are these alcoholic drinks or just drinks in general? <laughs> I just broke something. That's not good. Um, favorite food? I love pasta and spaghetti. I'm not Italian, but I love that stuff. Um, even though it's very bad for you, but I could totally live off spaghetti for like forever. My parents, they get so tired of spaghetti. My mom stopped making it for a very long time. She doesn't make it anymore at all, actually. But I love it. Uh, steak, probably. Uh, favorite alcoholic drink would be Mike's Hard Lemonade. Of course, the pomegranate version, which is very hard to find now. And then after that, it would be the pink version. And then after that, it would be just the regular Mike's. Um, as far as regular drinks, water, because it keeps you alive, probably. Uh, Resident Evil 988 asks, what Let's Play did you enjoy the most? Hmm. Um, actually, probably the Valkyrie Profile one. Just because when I started that, I was going through a really hard time, and I picked up a game that I had absolutely loved before, and it helped me so much to get through that hard time. So, yeah, it took a long time to do, but I was fine with that. I was fine with it taking a long time. So, yeah, I guess that's really it. Horrors Rose. <laughs> I have a question, or a few. Oh, eyes. Uh, number one, what insane voice in your head convinced you to make Capcom friends? Um, I think I said this in the original commentary, um, that I did for Capcom Friends, which was, like, super old. I did it, like, like a month after I made the first episode. So it's kind of out of date. But anyway, um, originally what I had seen, um, God, what's it called? Days of Our Lives or whatever, the Resident Evil 4 parody. And, like, I have to give him credit because he's really, like, the first person to do that with Resident Evil. But I wasn't really a fan per se as to the jokes and stuff because I felt a lot of it was just Leon running around being like, God, you're such a bitch, actually. Blah, blah, blah. Like, yeah, she's a bitch. She's annoying, but that gets a little old after a while. So, and then I saw Yu Gi Oh! Abridged, and I decided I want to do something like that, but I want to do it for Resident Evil. So that's why I came up with that. And the first scene that I pictured was actually, um, Ada and Dante on the phone together, and that was supposed to go on for quite some time, and they were just kind of supposed to have like some silly banter back and forth with each other, um, while Leon was kind of doing stuff with Fiona in the background. <laughs> doing stuff with Fiona. <laughs> um, yeah. 
let's be mature here. So I I just wanted to do a group project. Actually, there's a very very old video on my channel somewhere that is me talking about coming up with the idea for Capcom Friends and seeing if anyone wanted to help me out. And it was originally going to be more like Robot Chicken, which is the first episode where it's just like split up and different things. And I wanted to do it as a big collaboration and have people do like different scenes and kind of put them together. But it didn't really work out that way. But I am very happy with how Capcom Friends came out. Number two, what is your most hated character from any series? Wow. Um, God, I go through sprees. For a really long time, this is going to sound funny, I hated Claire. Absolutely hated Claire. It's only as more recently that I started to like Claire and I started to understand her more. But I just felt like all of Resident Evil 2, she's just like, I have to find my brother Chris. I just have to find him. And I'm, I haven't played Resident Evil 2 in a very long time, but I think at the end she just kind of ditches Leon and Cherry and is like, I have to go find Chris, guys. And then... All you hear about the entire time of Code Veronica is Chris, and now I'm looking for my brother It's like, it's like, girl, do you have nothing else that you do besides looking for your brother? I mean, come on, jeez. So, that's why I liked her more in um, Degeneration, because you got to see more of Claire as Claire, not as, I'm looking for my brother Chris. Um, but God, most hated character from any series. I might have to think about that one and come back to it. I don't like Rebecca either. Um, any series. I don't like Sophia in Star Ocean. Um, I don't like Eris from Final Fantasy VII. I don't really like Karen from Shadow Hearts Covenant. Um, most the reason I don't like Karen, and you guys can be total. Karen shippers or whatever you want. What I don't like about Karen is that this is gonna this is kind of spoilers for Shadow Hearts. Um, but anyway, I'll just I won't, I won't say what happens. Yuri goes through a major event at the end of the first game, and when he meets Karen, she kind of acts like it's no big deal. She's just like, okay, whatever. <laughs> you totally like me, don't you? <laughs> That's all that matters, really. Yeah. So, I have more respect for her as the game goes on, but there's a scene, they call it the bench scene, and I hated that scene. I hated that scene. Oh my god, I just thought of my most hated person, and I don't know how I didn't know this. Ashley. 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 I like killing Ashley, and I also like when she's in the shoot of ar suit of armor, and I get to shoot her with a rocket launcher, and she doesn't die. Number three. What video game series is overdone? Halo. That's it. Um, my explanation for Halo. I've played Halo. I don't like it. I just don't like it. And my boyfriend, he's a big first person shooter fan. And he doesn't even get Halo. He's like, Halo doesn't even, it doesn't bring anything new to the first person shooter genre, according to him. So, I mean, it's just, I'm not a big first-person shooter fan, and the fact that it wins, like, all these awards and everyone loves it, though, Halo did bring Red vs. Blue, so, whatever. Okay, Brawly1111 one, 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 one <laughs> says, I guess the most obvious question is, what are you buying, lols? <laughs> Why did you decide to start LPs and Capcom Friends? Capcom Friends I already explained uh, with Yu-Gi-Oh! Bridge and I wanted to have my own parody that I controlled and originally it was going to be a big collaboration thing but it didn't work out. Um, LPs. I had wanted to do something similar for a long time. I had wanted to do Shadow Hearts. I wanted to just do a straight run through, walk through Shadow Hearts and explain where everything is. And, and then I didn't really know what I was doing. I was going to add commentary but then I just had like text over the video and it was kind of boring and it was just taking forever to do and I decided against it. And then, <laughs> it's kind of funny, um, I was actually searching YouTube for Capcom Friends and I found a video of Catch and and it was a let's play of Don't May Cry and I was like, okay, why did this come up with Capcom Friends? And I watched the video and she mentioned Capcom Friends in it and I was like, oh, that's cool. 
And then I realized that what she was doing in these Let's Plays was what I had wanted to do all along. Um, and Let's Plays to me are kind of, they're like a side thing that I do. I know they're, that's why I decided to move them to a different channel, because they are a side thing. And they're taking up a lot of space on my channel. So, but I just enjoy doing them. They're just fun, they're easy to edit, they're easy to do. Like, I just did a run-through of Remake, and I did it in three hours. I mean, come on. Come on. For entertainment and enjoyment all over the web, three hours is nothing. I mean, it's just, it's nothing. So, I really, that's why I like doing the LPs.